Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Thank you for listening to Let the Ball Bounce. This your host, Dre Bailey. And this your man, Goose Thomas. What's good, folks? And we got Mr. Controversy himself, Bill <laughs> Controversy Logan. before the show even What's started. What's going though? on? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's not a controversy. There's no hey. controversy with that. We got a controversial topic. Yes, How about that? Yes, we do. We got, a contra- we got a controversial topic uh, that we want to share with you guys today, man. Thanks for tuning in to Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And also every Saturday at 2 p.m., man. We give you guys the best of Sports Talk Radio. You know, sometimes I would love for our passionate debates that we have with, our, with each other transpire onto the show. Man. I think that would make for great TV. Well, well, here's the deal, though, with that. You got a lot of people that got those cell phone fingers. Yeah. That don't want to show up to the desk. Yeah. And and let their opinions be heard live in front of thousands. It should be. They don't want to do that, though. It should be, man. Yeah. That's not what they want to do. They're not interested in that. They'll let you know how good they are behind the cell phone, though. Twitter fingers. Twitter fingers. <laughs> Big up to all you Twitter fingers out there, man. Uh, LTBB crew in the building, man. We are here to give you guys the best of Sports Talk Radio. Make sure that you follow us at Let the Ball Bounce uh, at uh, gmail.com. Gmail, yes, Please be a sponsor. If you want to get your business out there and you want to uh, go ahead and get some spots on the Gorilla Cross uh, app and yes, radio station, mm-hmm. it's a takeover, man. Gorilla no Cross question. is about the takeover. It's a takeover, baby. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The takeover. This is the takeover, man. We're better. We're better than the four-letter network. Uh, Hey, man. Hey. It's the truth. I've said it for a real long time, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you look. We understand that that ESPN is 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 stapled. ABC, Disney, Walt Disney. I mean, they they, they are what they are. But we are who we are too. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you got McDonald's. Doesn't mean that you can't have a McDowell's. Don't mean you I'm can't just... have Whataburger. <laughs> two all, two all beef patties <laughs> with the sesame seeds. Special seed beef. <laughs> like, come on, man. But our sauce is a little different. The sauce is a little bit <laughs> different. A little different. Hey, man, Raising Cane's is still out there. I, I mean, KFC still still doing their thing. Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A still doing their thing. Yeah. And then you have Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio Indeed. Show. It's a takeover. Gorilla Cross is here to take over. Yes, sir. It's a network. We're working on the network. Come on now. Because if we work on the network, then the net worth. Mm. 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 People don't understand, mm. man. Mm. Quan five. They not. They not understand. Quan five. They, they not. Understand. They don't know. They didn't understand that, G. It's they okay if you don't know G. either. It's all right. It's okay. You Raiders learn for, today. Right. You gonna learn today, <laughs> yeah. Raiders. It's yeah. okay to, here on to, out. to to know that. You just lost oh, yesterday. It's yes. okay. Oh, boy. We're here to talk about football. Yes. We got some baseball news. Mm-hmm. We got some Serena Williams tennis news. Yes, we do. Boy, are and we, we got talk some about sad it. news uh, yes. just about an hour and a half, maybe a couple of hours ago, man. There sad was stuff, here in man. Las Vegas uh, stuff, at uh, Canyon Springs High School, man. man. A young man lost his life at school. For zero reason. So he was shot and killed at school. On the baseball diamond. Yeah. It makes they, no sense. Yeah, they say just just uh, at the far northwest corner of uh the baseball field, basically against that that brick wall. For all those that are that are in Vegas that are familiar with with the structure of Canyon Springs High School, it's at the very far wall where that uh housing development starts right off of the baseball field. Tragic. Yeah, man. Sad stuff, man. Yeah. It's tragic, These kids, man. man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff, man. You can't like even go to school. Now, look, let me tell you something. When I was coming up, don't get it twisted, people was getting shot and killed. Oh, no that's just no That's doubt. just what it was. Sure. Right? But it was really unheard of that a person would get killed at school. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, man. Back uh, right right when I was in uh, getting ready to go to high school, I think I was in eighth grade at the time. 
and uh, I'm niv- I'm living in North Las Vegas, the real North. Mm-hmm. The real North. I don't I don't know what it is now. I don't know what this is. Back then it was the real North. Yeah. And um, shoot, in our neighborhood it was it was a, a guy by the name of Kurt uh, that we all you know kind of grew up with in that neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And uh, the block. Yeah. He he went to school and killed somebody on the first day. This mm-hmm. was at L Dog. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people remember that. Yeah, my nephew, my nephew went there at the time. You feel mm-hmm. me, Tony? Tony Mosley. Yeah, yeah, that's my nephew. So, yeah. um, you know, even then was unheard of. Now to hear of a school shooting, it's almost like, you know, and I had a, like a norm. And I had a, a conversation with one girl whose son goes to Canyon Springs. My son graduated from Canyon Springs. Uh, and she was telling me that. She asked, she asked a question. She said, what's the most important thing facing our kids in school? And I, and she said, it's education. I said, no, it's school safety. School yeah. safety, man. I said, because these kids are getting shot down in schools. Yeah. These kids are getting shot in schools. Yeah. I said... Education is what it's going to be. I say, but if you're not securing these kids and securing kids coming on on campus with guns or whoever coming on with guns and whatever, I said, it's going to be more tragedy. Bros, let me tell you something, man. Back in the day, the worst thing that, that happened while we were in school, actually in school, was somebody getting their face beat off and their weave pulled out. I promise you. <laughs> it, I mean, if that was like... You know what I'm saying? It's like, did you see Lakeisha get her ass whooped? Yeah. Excuse my French. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did, I graduated. Did, did, I graduated in 1982, and that's all it was was fist fights. Fist fights. Yeah. And you know, you live to see another day. Can you throw hands? Yeah. Yeah. But Can you live. You throw... But you live to see another day. Can you throw hands? <laughs> Can you throw hands? From the book of North. And if it was pretty close, you did it again. From the book of North Town. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the eight that's, nine zero. That's, that's what that's verse the way it three went. zero. That's <laughs> the way it went. We <laughs> threw hands. Yeah. And if yeah. it was a little close, and you, yeah. Yeah. you, you did it again. Day. Yeah. And if you got whooped up, you just left homeboy alone. Yeah. That piece. Done deal. Yeah. Done deal from there. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't no come back and, and blow won, somebody's brain out. We won some and lost some. Yeah. yeah. I, I like to say I won more than I lost. Yeah. But I ain't gonna sit here and act like I ain't never lost. Oh. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. But but we fought though. That's 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 the growing pain. But we fought though. Yeah, you fought. That's the difference. We yeah, fought. You we, fought. You know, you yeah. know there, there's a whole lot of things going on. You know, pray pray for Paris, pray for Vegas, pray for, you know, the levees, pray for whatever. Pray that your kids come home safe. Man. Yeah. How about yeah. that? I think it's tragic, man, and it's sad that and we let's have find to, some solutions to this. We have to, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Senseless. We can't be we can't be hooping and hollering about police killing us when we killing us every day too. Man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's yeah. have accountability for yeah. our own action. Gotta, gotta Look be the man in the mirror. Yeah. We gotta be accountable too. It's gonna make the change. <laughs> Fool what's in my life. Hey man, have y'all went and saw a little off topic? Have y'all been in, to see the the Cirque, the no. Michael Jackson Cirque show? No. Well, you missing out on the treat, G. It's good. I saw okay. a dress rehearsal. Okay. Oh, it was oh. Yeah. Oh my! You're missing out on the treat. Yeah. To do uh, to do list, please. To do list, please. I'm stuck with the man <laughs> in the mirror. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trying to rest in my, peace to the leader of the Jackson get Five. My, get my young vocals popping right there. Yeah. Didn't oh. quite work out for me. Joe. Joe. <laughs> rest in peace, Joe. <laughs> rest in peace to Joe. <laughs> rest in peace, Penny's mama on Good Times. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, uh, she got a lot of burden to lick girl arm like that. Re, re, rest in peace to the little bit of innocence that Janet Jackson had left after the Bobby Brown's uh, ah, yeah, rendition yeah. there. Ooh, yeesh. ooh, yeesh. Yeesh. But look though, it's not far fetched. You know why? Because I've seen a lot of dudes with some bad yeah. girls yeah. that they just did just dirty. I was yeah. like, man, you did that. They was like, yeah. man, please, yeah. Yeah. Bobby Brown is no exception to the rule. Oh no! Wow. The man was at the top of his. Oh no question. It no is doubt about it, it. He was at the top, and he was a let the ball bounce sports talk fan at that time too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
He was frequently in the club with our unk KB out there in Cleveland. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> wow. No, <I'm> just <laughs> KB, I'm going to need you to get your guy Bobby Brown. Get man. Bobby. Bobby. Look, follow Let the Ball Bounce on Facebook, man. We go hard every single day, every single minute of the hour, man. If you don't know your sports, you need to. We need yeah. you guys to ride with us just as hard as you ride for your team. So if you're following us on the Gorilla Cross app on Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio, Right now, we are in the studio, and we are watching uh, that playoff matchup between mm. Portland Trailblazers mm. and the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, mm. let me tell you a couple of people who played on that Portland Trailblazers team so you guys can kind of refresh your own memory. Yeah. Uh, Scotty Pippen. Yeah. You want to name a person? Uh, Rasheed Wallace was okay. on that team, money. You want to name a person? Steve Smith. When Damon Stoudemire on that team Damon too? Stoudemire. Yeah. Brian Grant. Yeah. Arvidas. Brian Grant. Arvidas. 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 Sabonis. Sabonis. Bad Sabonis. Knee Sabonis. Sure was on that Jermaine basketball team. Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal was on that Bonzi team. Bonzi Wells. Bonzi. Another self-proclaimed Kobe. Shrimp. Kobe Greg stopper. Greg Anthony. Greg Anthony. Yes. That hmm. was a stacked team yes, back then. Yes, it was. They were projected to actually win. Mm -hmm. And probably should have. <laughs> right? Yes. But they were going up against a Derek Fisher, yeah, Kobe Bean Bryant, mm -hmm. Glenn Rice, Big Shaq, Kobe. I mean, I, I, just, Robert Horry. Robert Horry. So we had a. Oh, oh, let's get a let's get a consensus real quick. Is is Robert Horry a Hall of Famer? Yes or no? No. Is he a Hall of Famer? You know what? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Is Robert Horry Hall of Famer? Absolutely not. Yes. I don't think he is, man. Yes. Oh no. I don't Absolutely think he is, not, dude. I don't, and and, and we and we can say all of the big shots that he hit, and, and granted, we can't like dismiss those, but he was. How can you let somebody in the Hall of Fame that didn't even average average double figures in points? That we can we can start and end right there. Right, he averaged seven points a game for his career. How can you let him in the Hall of Fame? I'm a, I'm gonna say this, but because of his playoff. But because of his playoff expertise, which I mean, he, he was a big part he of was those, a marksman. He, 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 he was a big part was, of those. He was offensively and defensively. But, but let, can we be honest for two seconds? If Not if, if if he had if he doesn't play behind those superstars that are on his ball clubs, are we even talking about Robert Ory? It, it, come on, y'all. Are we even talking about Robert Ory making any big shots if he doesn't play with Akeem Olajuwon, if he doesn't play with Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan? It's are not we his even fault. talking it's about It's not them? his fault he had it, You're right. Teammates. You're absolutely correct. But are we talking about him, though, if he doesn't play with those guys? If 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 he plays for the Sacramento Kings his entire career. And he started He started for Houston. He started for Houston. Yeah. yeah but started. But – but, he, Houston, but he, he didn't come off the bench. He was starting. I, I understand. But but although he started, he was still a role player. Yeah, And he's still right now a role player. I, and, and this is what I'm saying. Are we talking about him if he's not on those particular ball clubs? Like somebody like a Mitch Richmond who played for seemingly – part of subpar teams his entire career. But if you look at his numbers, you're like, damn, Mitch Richmond did his thing. Or like a Chris Mullen. Yeah. I argue with somebody that Chris Mullen wasn't – somebody argued with me that Chris Mullen wasn't, wasn't a Hall of Famer. Yeah. That's retarded. Yeah. Do you did you see his numbers? Well – You see the numbers he put up? But he had, you know, his college career, uh, he had a great college oh, career. Oh, no doubt. But, but I'm saying if you if you take away his career at St. John's and just give me his professional career, he, he averaged 25 a game for like six straight, six straight seasons. Well, we're going to give you guys a question that you guys can debate about, and maybe we can take this further on the page. Uh, but that Lakers team, would they have beaten the Golden State Warriors, the 2017-2018 Golden State Warriors? Would they have beat that team? That's the question. We can debate that. I'd have to say no. We can debate it, though. It's debatable. It's a debatable it's, question. It's definitely debatable. Because at the sure. end of the day, who Arvidas Sabonis couldn't hold Shaq. Who's no. going to hold Shaq 
Oh. On the Golden State Warriors, Shaq team. can't score every point. You know, Shaq, my favorite player of all time. Right, he can't score every time down. Hell, he can't even stay to stay in the game for thirty minutes before he gotta sit down. He gotta sit down. You don't think them young boys in in, in Golden State gonna take advantage of that? I, I said that Golden State sure. will win. Sure, hands down. Sure, they just got way too many shooters. I mean, you got Clay that's, Thompson. That, that's spreading the floor way too much, though. That, like, that's. And at this time, wow. Robert Ory coming in off the bench, shooting threes and making them for the Lakers was like considered big time back big. then. That was big. They got like four dudes in their starting lineup that can do what Robert Ory did. That was groundbreaking. <sighs> right? Yeah. So look, man, it's real early in the show, but we do have a caller. If you have, uh, um, we want to know what you, what, you know, what your name is, man. What kind of question you got for the LTBB crew, man? This is Dave. I'm calling because I'm so happy to hear NBA talk at Dave. any time of the year. <laughs> and I definitely have opinion. What's up with you, Dave? What's I'm good with you, bro? All time comparison, Robert Ory talk. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, bro. That's what we talking about. The Warriors about. versus the Shaq Laker team. Yes. Yes, man. Yes. Well, I, I have. A, I actually had a whole conversation about this with somebody not that long ago. Mm. I think Shaq would would absolutely go off and not really be stoppable, but then you have to look at the flip side of who in the world is covering Steph Curry on those teams? Who in the world is covering Kevin Durant on those teams? That, I guess it would depend on when it was being played. Are we playing it in 2018 or 2001? Yeah, and, that, either, and that How about we be, do either or? Yeah. How about you give me the 2018 and 2001? I mean, the, the, the rules weren't... with the way the game is called? Mm hmm I, but what I'm saying, with the way the game is called and just they legislate a lot of the physicality out of it, I don't see how you cover all those shooters. Mm -hmm. Now, also remember, on the off chance that Boogie Cousins is healthy, <laughs> I'm not saying he would stop Shaq or slow him down that much. Sure. But that would be the determining factor there because mm. with an 80 something percent Boogie Cousins, that's at least somebody where Shaq has to Ouch. try on defense, yeah. which almost never happens. Yeah. He, he, he never he, had to. I mean, who was he playing against? Yeah, he, he would have to actually go out and guard Boogie Cousins. Like, he would have yeah. to step with, out with and the, guard him. And, and with the healthy Boogie, I, I don't see how you pick against so we talk, Warriors. So we're, we're talking about the 2018-19 uh, Warriors. Yeah. Well, that's, I, what that's, that's what we're talking about. We, we don't know about Boogie's health. I, I mean, if we're assuming health, then I'm not sure that they have the answers. I mean... Not that anybody is stopping Steph or KD, nor is anybody stopping Shaq. But at the same time, it's like Kobe's going to get his, but is he going to really chase Clay around screens all day long? Well, you got to yes, think of a, of, a, of a competitive uh, yes, he Kobe will. Bryant. He he probably would. Yes, he would. That that would actually probably be probably be be a good matchup. But I'm, but I'm talking who's about who's gonna hold Steph like Curry? Ke though? Like Ke well, Kevin Durant. Who who's gonna stay in Derek front of Fisher Kevin Durant? Could, Derek Fisher could hold him. Derek uh, Fisher would get his up. Uh, uh, Mr. Steal on your on girl on looking on ass. Look, look, come on now. Look, come look, on now. I, I'm I'm the I'm I come am a huge now. Laker fan. Come on. Now. And I ride for my team. <laughs> but there is no way on God's green earth that Derek Fisher is keeping up with Steph Curry. It's just not gonna happen, Bill. It's no. just not, bro. None. It's not, bro. Not at all. It's not, bro. Okay. You, you, you looking at a dude okay. that, like, D Derek Fisher, like, he he like going through screens, but really chasing people around the half court? Uh, nah, dog. Mm -mm. Let, mm -mm. Let, me, let me tell you yeah. the, let me tell you the only way that Derek Fisher would be able to guard Steph Curry. And that is if Derek Fisher continues to be Derek Fisher. And messes with Steph Curry's girl. <laughs> He's in his head then. Uh, I was say, he can guard him like in. that, Stop. or Stephen, or Bruce Bowen like putting his foot under his foot and letting like, the ankle yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah, the, the ankle only roll. Way he could actually cover him. Yeah, the the young Jalen rolls. That's uh, it. Uh, right. <laughs> That's it. Hey man, we we appreciate yeah, Dave. I, we appreciate you, big dog, big time, man. Oh, I just man. had to call in. I, yes, I love indeed, the NBA man. so much. I yes. you guys are talking about it all the time. Hey, hey, keep listening because right yes, now indeed, we're man. about to drop some some gems on you real quick yes, while we're still here in the NBA. Yes, indeed. I, I will stay on. All appreciate right, you. I'll keep listening. Appreciate right. you, Day. Hey, it's big day well, from the unnamed sports show. Look, that's that's our guy. That's good though. Yeah. That's that's a good. That's debate. a great debate. It's a great debate. 
to have in the middle of football season. I mean, me, Bill Especially and I when, almost came to a microphone uh, fisticuffs. Just, just uh, now. Like, as I was walking in, I thought I was going to have to split the dudes up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just, I mean, he stopped, heated there. he stopped me in mid talk and said, hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. You tripping. I'm supposed to ride with, <laughs> with my, my team, my squad. <laughs> my squad. I was like, hold on, man. As you as you who, should. Who who are champions? Oh man. They're champions. They're not oh, no uh, doubt. they're just not some team we can put together. Yeah, I mean, and, oh, they're no. champions. Yeah, they oh, champions. Three time oh. champions too. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, but no you question. know, against that Golden State Warrior team, I would I would love to see that. It's a little tough. That's a little tough, man. I would love to see that. And, and I'm a Laker fan. Recency bias is a mother. I'm telling you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Great debate, man. Look, if you got any questions on that? Comments on that, man? Please feel free to give us a call in 702 608 3259. Once again, that number 702 608 3259. You are here with Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio, man. We are in the NBA for a little bit. And on the wire, mm-hmm. uh, Anthony Davis has signed with uh, LeBron James Sporting. Agency and mm, Rich Paul Clutch, Clutch so, Sports, eh? You these mm. are these are certain things that you have to to pay attention to because there is a trickle effect when things like this happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a uh, one Anthony Davis who plays for the New Orleans Pelicans who has two more years on his contract, uh, but the Lakers have interesting. Uh, young core that could be in talks of bringing Anthony Davis to the Los Angeles Lakers is what I'm hearing my source Mm. uh, is trying to put that connection to. Mm. Uh, Laker fans, Mm. let us know how you feel about that. Mm. Is this a great move? Mm. And if you make this move, are you willing to part with the coups? Mm. To bring Anthony Davis in? Because that, yeah. He got to go. Of course. Go. Of course. Kuz got to go. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, they can they can have a host of people if if we bring it in Anthony Davis. Absolutely. Yeah. Cuz now that max spot opens up with with the departure of Luau Ding. Right? He got 38 million dollars to fork out there. Yeah. Dang a lot there. Yeah. Cools. Luau Ding is off of the Lakers contract, and he has signed with the mm-hmm. Minnesota Bulls. <laughs> the Timber Bulls. Mm-hmm. The Timber Bulls. Along with Monte Ellis uh, is trying to make a comeback, and uh, Minnesota may be giving him a look also. Andrew Bynum's trying to make a comeback. Oh, he gosh. looks <laughs> like he's in the best shape of his life, though. I mean, ever since he cut that uh, that small mushroom child off of his head, <laughs> what what he I was mean, going through some things back then, man. He had to be. He had to be. He was going through some things, some serious things. I mean, what what could you possibly be going through though? I mean, uh, like what was he going through? What possibly does what? Andrew Bynum have to offer like right what? now in 2018? I mean, what does is, he have? Is, to is he Tristan Thompson at best right well, now? Well, I mean, that's all I'm giving him, Jay. I'm I would take Tristan none. Thompson over him, and you know how I feel. I, I know exactly how you feel about Tristan Thompson, but that's that's what I'm saying. That's my point. Tragic. Like he's Tristan Thompson at best right now in today's NBA. Nah, Jay. Nah. 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 No. No. He must be healthy for, we got, for, we got, for we, one time. We got to understand, uh, what, what was his career high average, his his best season? Was it like 14 and 10? That was like his best season? 14 that was and 10. One year. And that was for one season. He was giving it to Shaq when Shaq was in Miami. I dunked but on we, once. Yeah, but we all know how, we that, all know how that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Everybody gets dunked on. Once. Have you yeah. ever been dunked on before, Goose? I wouldn't say dunked on per se. Um, ne- never have I, never have I jumped. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't just, I, like, ain't nobody brought the hammer down on me. Okay. And I would have to yeah. say the exact same thing. Yeah. Nobody's ever, yeah. I've never jumped and somebody yeah. dunked on yeah. me. 
But I've been in the vicinity, yeah, maybe I've like been in the area. one and a half feet away. Yeah, I've been in the uh, area from Stackhouse, <laughs> uh, uh, Duncan. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, in uh, my junior year at Durango. Yeah, I think I think in eleven and twelve, I, I, he I, averaged eighteen points a game. Okay, okay, eighteen, eight, seven. eighteen and eight, eighteen, eighteen, seven, and what? Ten, eighteen point eighteen and ten, eleven, eighteen, twelve, and twelve. Yeah. Okay, eighteen, 18 and 12, twelve, best season. Mm-hmm. I shorted him. I'm sorry. Yeah, eighteen and twelve, best season. I mean, Bo- Boogie Cousins giving you 25 and 12 right now. Right now, and he, and he, had, like, he just got hurt. Mm. So you finna come back from being out of the NBA four years, three years? Uh, it's, been, it's been about four or five. been about four or five years, right? So what, what you gonna give me? Yeah, because it's been about two years for Monte Ellis. Are you gonna give me your best season? Negative. Mm. Not gonna happen. 18 and 12? You're not going to give me you're not, not going to give me that. Not, no. Maybe he's getting ready for that big <laughs> no. 3. May, maybe. He, or or he could be getting ready for the big flight overseas. KB said he would rather have a uh, Kwame Brown. I said no, boy no, stop. Boy no, stop. No, no, KB. See <laughs> see now you are going too far. <laughs> yeah. See, boy now, stop. now you now you're doing too much. <laughs> Unk, I love you, but that that's too much. Yeah. That's too much. Don't yeah. do not take us back there. No. Don't Please. set us back to that point. Mm. Tragic. Yeah, don't do us that way. Well, it also has been linked uh, that uh, Walton, the head coach of the Lakers, has a great relationship with Clay Thompson. Mm. Yeah, sure he does. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Sure he does. I wouldn't doubt that he does. So there are some potential moves that could be made. Me, personally, I think Trey Thompson does not leave Golden State. He's e- extremely too comfortable. I don't Clay, think he, he's leaving. I don't care Clay, if he was a free agent no. tomorrow. Why he's leave? not leaving. Why Golden leave Clay, that situation? Yeah, Clay Thompson probably has a good rapport with a lot of the Lakers because his dad's still sure. one of uh, one of the Lakers in the Lakers uh, organization. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure coming up, he was always there, you know. So he, he might. Hmm. Yeah, make, makes no he makes might. no makes no real sense for for Clay Thompson to 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 leave. It, it really doesn't. Um, to go somewhere and where, where are you gonna go? Orlando? Yeah. Where are you gonna go to the Brooklyn Nets, where every career goes to die? Where, where are you gonna go and be the man? Here's a debatable question, and we've talked about. I don't it. think he wants to be the man. Yeah. I think he'd come no. to the Lakers, yeah. where there's. Yeah. Absolutely. Hell. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad that you said that because that takes me right into Goose's favorite question. Mm-hmm. Is Clay Thompson a, like, just flat out score, like, can go out and get you 20 plus games, like, be the man of his own team? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> he's we, not like that. We all that we guy. we've seen him. He's not like that. He's not like that. He's not like that. No. And, and and shout out to, to my very to very my boy. good complimentary piece. Yeah. Shout out to my boy uh, DBs man Darius Banks. We've had this uh, verbal squabble yeah uh, several times over, and it still turns out the exact same. Uh, I love Clay Thompson. I think he's a great basketball player. I just don't think he can be the man anywhere. That's that's just my, uh, I mean, it, 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 building a team around him, building a team around Clay around Thompson? Clay no, Thompson. No, 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 no. Coming in and adding to it like a LeBron and sure. oh yeah, that oh, works yeah, all day. He'll fit right in. Oh, that works all day for as a great shooter for LeBron when he drives Work, and catches. works all day. Works all day, but to come in and and build around him, nah, man, Mm-mm. nah, G. I think at the end of the day, because um. Uh, Cedric McMillan said that uh, uh, he's leaving for the money. Shout out, Sid. I don't. I don't think that Clay will leave for the money. He will what, still take a pay cut. What to is he stay making? What is he making right Golden now? State. What is he making? What is What is Clay making right now? Seventeen million? Sixteen million? Mm, some Some in that area. Mm-hmm. So leave and go to Orlando and be miserable and make twenty five thirty. No state tax in Florida. I get it. How much or, do the Lakers have to offer? Or go to uh, well, we we getting ready to sign a max contract. There'll be nothing left for Clay Thompson. <laughs> There'll be nothing left for him. <laughs> get ready to sign this max deal, after G. We signed, yeah, after, we <laughs> after this max, max deal gets signed, tragic. There's nothing left on the books. Nothing. Mm. 
I, you got a lot of NBA players that are uh, uh, actually out um, playing against each other now, uh, playing on the same team, pick up basketball games, keeping themselves in shape. Yeah, um, That's something that I love to see uh, is the fact that nobody's just sitting at home doing nothing. Yeah, They're actually out trying to stay in shape and stay relevant. Oh, yeah. So, NBA season, man, it's 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 gonna be upon us soon. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. get it twisted. Yeah, Clay Thompson makes fifteen point five million dollars right now. Yeah, a season. It's, it's comfortable living. Comfortable. I mean, he's in, in the, the he's area. in the bay. He's in yeah. the bay, so I get it. Yeah. So that fifteen, the fifteen five turned probably about eight, nine. You can get him a nice house in the Valley, Joe. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. But I mean, he still got his. You know, his Vietnamese shoe deal. You know, so. And I mean, who's uh, wearing those <laughs> joints? I don't. I'm not. I mean, they, they, <laughs> I heard they pretty hot over there, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, Steph, Steph on Marbury like Steph was Marbury, hot over there. Absolutely. Yeah. So why can't why can't Clay? Yeah. If Clay, if Steph can be hot, I think Clay can be hot. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I'm not wearing them, but I, I think he can be hot over there. Yeah. Oh, Ruben Patterson played for that Portland sure team, did. too. The another, Kobe another, Stopper. The Kobe Stopper. The Kobe Stopper. The I, original Kobe, Kobe I, Stopper. I just yeah. seen him, too. Uh, Ruben Patterson. At the uh, Summer League. Wow. He was up there with some brand new New Balances on. <laughs> brand? <laughs> the official shoe brand of white supremacists brand, everywhere. Brand new. <laughs> <laughs> the official... <laughs> The official shoe of <laughs> the official shoe brand of the KKK. Gonna see if he can be the clan stopper. <laughs> <laughs> gonna see if that stopper mentality is gonna follow you through. New your, balances, your, man. If y'all don't it. cut it out, stop it already, man. Stop it. I'm telling you, New Balance has something on somebody because who wears? I love them, but I like the ones with the N on it, yes. and it's only because you yeah, know, yeah, yes, you know, they, no, you no know, doubt about it. It's just some. Just some gang bang stuff. <laughs> Just keep it on one hundred with you. Oh, you got them North Towns on? For sure. We did we towns didn't on. we didn't name those joints North Towns. They not the new balances no more. They the North Towns. They, the North North towns. towns. they got the big fat N on yes. it. Yes. North Towns. I love them. They're very comfortable. Yeah. Extremely comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey. Football is here. Yes, it is. But before we get there, man, I really want to talk about um, this Serena Williams mm-hmm. um, controversy that's going on. Yeah. Our last show that we had, we were here and actually watching mm-hmm. that tennis match. Uh, and it took us all by surprise because that's really the first time we've seen Serena kind of out of her character. Yeah. Per like, se. like that. Like that. Yeah. That, that Does works. she have some validity to what she is complaining about? I think she did. I think she did um, because, like she said, he didn't he didn't out and out say she was cheating, but the way he insinuated it looked like that's the way she took it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she had to get that, you know. And I guess that kind of rubbed her the wrong way. You know, for her, for her, for him to to try to say that she was getting coaching from her coach, and she said, he was on the yeah. sideline doing a little coaching, yeah. but yeah. from her angle, she couldn't see him right. like that. Right, right, right. You know, and he know better than that. Come on, but I mean, I mean, in in her mind, she's like every time because I've heard her say this every time. I come here, it's something mm-hmm. to do with me. Whether it's the way I'm dressing, uh, how dominant I am, I know that's an issue. It has to be. Uh, and now this. Like, I've never been a cheater in my entire life. Please don't. That, to her, that was the most disrespect out of the entire situation is right. the fact that right. someone called her a cheater. Now, I know my disrespect is when someone calls me a liar. Mm-hmm. Right? Like I can kind of jump out of my skin and, 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 you know, get on somebody real quick. Right. But hers was 
you call me a cheater. Same thing. As hard as I worked to come out of the hub city, mm-hmm. which I don't expect you to understand that. Right. But as hard as I worked to get to a certain level, for you to try to attack my character, is what she said, and call me a cheater? 20 years in. How about mm. I call you a thief? Mm. And let's see how you feel about that. Oh, all of a sudden, you in your feelings now because I called you a thief. And I have the power. So I'm going to take a game from you. Mm. That's exactly what Come happened. on, dog. Because and like like I stated, uh, you know, when we when we spoke about it, you know, post show. Right. Um, you know, on the page. Um, we've seen far bigger and worse outbursts from male tennis players. Ooh. I mean, it, it, it's not even close. It's Ooh. not to the outburst that we've seen from male tennis players from her white male counterparts. I mean, let's just let's just call a spade a spade. It's it is what it is. Always a spade, man. Let's call it what it is. We've seen far bigger outbursts from her white male counterparts than the, I, I believe what we saw from Serena was very minute in comparison to what we've seen. From a Mac and Roll, uh, you know, uh, 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 and, uh, Andre Agassi, and we love him here in Vegas. That's our Vegas guy. But we've seen him go way out of bounds before. Right. That was very minute. All she did was say, "Hey, you accusing me of cheating?" Yeah. I don't think that's right. I don't think any of us in this room would want our uh, character attacked. Absolutely it's not. not. So, it's not fun. So. That's why she was pretty pretty upset. Yeah. But let me ask you this. Warranted too. Is yeah. tennis an emotional type of sport? Sure it sure is. Sure it is. Does, Especially does emotions get involved? No question. So what is the problem? Yeah. It's I'm telling you, man, sometime it is beyond me the fact that we could have professional athletes, whether they're playing tennis, baseball, soccer, basketball, football, and we're not allowed to mm-hmm. express emotion mm-hmm. plain an emotion sport mm. where they do that at mm. we play kickball and it took mm. me a week to 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 get over the fact that me and bill we had to switch <laughs> positions i got this cuz i was pitching i got this hey <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm gonna. I, just I, went, I went over to third base. I played. I just walked over. To, had my head down and walked over to third hey, base. Hey, he taught me the sword in them guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't even the captain of the team. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I swear, I wasn't expecting the Tommy Lasorda treatment, man. I really wasn't. I would bet. Goose and I have yeah. played basketball against each other. Yeah. He knows <laughs> how emotional I can get mm. when it comes to competitive yeah. basketball. Because yeah. cause cats like winning. Dudes like winning, winning is, bro. Winning is fun. Man. Winning is fun, bro. Losing, losing is not. Losing is not. So, <laughs> simple I and plain. Br- I bring all that up to say, no taking anything away from Naomi. Oh, you can't. You can't take anything. You can't. Because guess what she was doing? She was she, she was, was beating she the was brakes off of Serena. Serena. So literally serving her. Yeah. I don't think that when Serena went off, it was all about the point. It compiled with the fact that she was getting Molly whopped. Let's just let's just say say what it is. Yeah. Both of them combined pissed her off, and it would have pissed me off too because I hate to lose. And on top of that, you attacked my character. Come on, man. Yeah, it's tough, man. Right? <laughs> I think I think that's what it was. I think her, her, you know, her character got attacked, and that's what threw her over the edge. Yeah. And that would throw any of us over the edge. A lot of people can say, "Man, she should have just." You know, let it let it slide yeah, under the bridge. It, yeah. But you know what? Oh man, everybody's not the same. No, it's not. 
and Kel's how many like t- winning. How many times? <laughs> how many times y'all play spades and your partner reneges oh and you want to literally put hands <laughs> oh on my it? God. Oh my god! <laughs> next subject. Uh, where, where? What's the next? What's the next topic we talked about? <laughs> hey man, I look. Anybody that doesn't play spades with me, <laughs> no. I, look, man. I really, I take spades really, really serious. Like if I'm going to sit down and play spades, we're going to play. And you better know what you're doing. And you please know what you're doing. <laughs> At least. Please know what you're doing. It's always that one dude that do this though. They throw their card out there and they go, <laughs> damn, oh man, that. I got the suit. Oh damn, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> and then he, you looking at him like, got you. We just started, bros. This small. <laughs> Like, dog. No, I mean, we just started, bro. Congratulations for tennis uh, scheduling um, (laughs) the uh, men's championship game the same day that NFL start. How dare you? Like, I really wanted to watch that match with Jokovic because I'm glad he won it because I have been saying for weeks, that dude right there is legit and he is on fuego Mm -hmm. right now. No doubt. Now, you want to talk about somebody who was – on his way to that championship game, he may not have verbally assaulted the judge, mm. but he was doing things intentionally mm-hmm. to piss the judge off. Sure. Sure. You know how you're getting ready to serve? Mm. He held the ball too long yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Foot fouls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of times during the, during the U.S. Open that happened. The utter mm. disrespect sometimes yeah. that goes towards the judges. And I think that's what Serena was trying to get across. Yeah. Yeah. Was why is it okay for one, yeah. but not the but other? Not the other. Absolutely. That's that's why I agree with her. And and uh, you know the 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 self proclaimed uh, tennis guru Christopher Mad Dog Russo. Uh, listened to his show uh, the other day, and he spoke about the Serena uh, outburst, if you will, and uh, you know. He he said, "Oh, she was out of line. Ah, this, this, that." Say, man, unless you're unless you're the one down there in front of thousands of people at Arthur Ashe Stadium, seventeen about seventeen thousand people at Arthur, at Arthur Ashe, and another five million watching on TV, and you've been doing it for at the level she has for as long as she has, bro. That 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 you can't say. That she can't get emotional in that moment. Right, yeah. come on, man. In that moment, yeah. Now, now it, it, we we critique sports. That that's why we, that's why we're here. We critique sports. We critique athletes. We we say well, whether some should have could have happened or not. But to 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 say whether a, per, a person in that moment that we're speaking of that particular moment to to not be emotional. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't say that. Right. You can't say that, dude. And and the character was attacked, so that's another thing. Like you said, it's a that, big deal. that can throw you over the edge. Oh, that's a big deal, man. Especially when you've played this game at a level for twenty something for twenty years, on, basically, basically all your life. Yeah. Well, let me yeah. tell you that at the pro level, twenty years. Yeah. Yes. Twenty we just, years. We mm. just finished a basketball season. Yeah. And we're about to start um, another one. <laughs> yeah, we're about to start another one, yeah. and uh, we were losing. Yeah. And during that game, when we were losing, not the last game. But my character <laughs> was attacked, mm. threw me over the edge. Yeah. Guess what I did? Yeah. I'm going to just sit out. Yeah. I'm going to need y'all to win without me, though, on this one. Yeah. yeah. It happens sometimes, and, and, man. And, and, and I'm like that, too. It happens. I, I remember me playing in pickup games and leagues and stuff like that, too. And sent some something similar happened. And I said I'd rather sit out. Yeah. Cause I'm about to do something. Yeah. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something stupid. I might regret. I'm gonna do something now, stupid. Now I I look back on that and say you know what it wasn't my entire team's fault. It was just you know. Actually, I stuffed my bag with all my stuff. My shoes, <laughs> put it on my so, put so, it on my shoulders so, so and you had a, out. So you had a temper tantrum. Yeah, they so, was like they was like what's wrong? I yeah. said man I gotta go. I'm stomping out. I gotta go. And I'm taking hey hey dog yeah. get my ball. Did y'all see that? I ain't, that I, ain't, I ain't take the ball. Y'all can finish. <laughs> I gotta go. I took myself out while I was on Fuego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. 
which we all wondered why he did that. But yeah, just so okay. I'm talking about I'm on fuego. We, we, in the we game. understood afterwards. <laughs> on fuego, like yeah, he was hot. I had you know I had like a little Kobe Bryant lip moment yeah, for was, a hot going. second. He was going. You had the little you had he the little going. red circle up under you. <laughs> yeah, I did. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was hot. But I checked hot. myself out. Yeah, Got gotcha. you. He was hot. That's how you feel. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, Go man. get my points then, and some. <laughs> mm-hmm. Emotions oh, happen, people. Let's yeah. pick. Let's pick and say you took a knee. <laughs> I did. You can't lose. It's, a, it's, 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 it's There's a difference. You can be emotional. You can't lose your emotions. You can't yeah, right, lose. Right, right. There you, you gotta, go. You there's gotta be difference. able to control. There's a difference. No you question. Know, it's a, a difference. difference. Absolutely. You know, Big difference. We have to do. We, you know, and all of the racist comments. Mm. It's like it's all bad. But man. I thought racism was over though, Goose. Negative. Negative. It's just getting started as far as I'm concerned. I thought racism ended with slavery. <laughs> we've, ah! had, we've had people say that. You ain't see the 60s? 50s? <laughs> Tee-hee. <laughs> Tee-hee. We've had people actually say, there's no more Tee-hee. racist people. <laughs> Nobody's racist anymore. Tee-hee. Get over it. <laughs> Now I'm gonna need. Over it. I'm gonna need. If you're a black guy and you're driving and you're listening, go cut the nearest white man off <laughs> and let me tell you something. See what happens. <laughs> See how that ends. <laughs> Unbelievable. If we could it put just... a bug, if we could put a bug in every, whether you're white or black, in in a black man's home and a white man's home, yeah. and you'll find out that everybody is <laughs> racist to some point. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, it Dave, makes no sense. Hey, Dave, I gotta have my gallon a day, G. I mm. gotta have it, bro. Yeah. Dave, Dave, on my helmet about my water. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, man. I gotta have my gallon, yeah, yeah, bro. That's a that's a daily thing. I got to have it. Get off that's Serena's back, man. Please get off yeah. of her, man. Congratulations her, to Novak for winning that men's yeah. uh, tennis. And Naomi, the Joker. And Naomi. Yeah, man. And and, and and let's get off of Naomi because y'all are really, really trying hard for her to just only be Japanese. Right. Like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, y'all can clearly see that that is a woman of color. Why are y'all doing this? <laughs> Makes what no is sense. wrong with the the media? What is wrong with these people? It is crazy. Did you see it? Did you see them? Did you see her her Wikipedia change after she won? Uh, Yeah. yeah. Wikipedia Ridiculous. before was Haitian, Haitian Japanese. Then it was first Japanese player to win. What? How did that just change like that? She grew up in a Haitian household. Look, That's a black look, woman. Stop then, it. And then they keep saying, oh, yeah, over in Japan. She's like, uh, I've uh, been living I don't in even Miami. remember Japan. Yeah. What are y'all saying yeah, right now? I've been living in Miami. But hold man. on. Yeah. My, my mama don't even remember Japan. <laughs> we grew up around the corner from the pork and beans uh, <laughs> right, right. in Day County. <laughs> Oh man, it looks like we got a caller, man. Caller, caller, you're on live with Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk. State your name and where you're from, please. Uh, this is Chris Rhodes, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. That's the dude, hey. Chris Rhodes. What's good with you, man? This is one of our newest, oh, you know. our newest members on the uh, on the Let the Ball Bounce page, man. What's good with you, bro? Uh, just just living the dream, man. Yes, living sir. Life. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, sir. All yes, day, every day. Absolutely, man. We just getting in, in we just transitioning into. You know, from from tennis into some football talk, man. What what was your take from this weekend's games, man? How bad quarterbacks are in the NFL. That is, yes, I mean, we have we have guys like Stafford, bad. Horrible. Nathan Peterman, bad. Horrible. Well, we knew Nathan Peterman was yeah. bad though. Yeah. Coming into this yeah, thing, we, we knew that. We knew that. We knew what that was already. But how bad was AJ McCarron though? Let's not be talk about it. AJ McCarron got shipped off to get Peterman to get it? That's crazy. <laughs> look, man. I mean, is Buffalo taking or is it taking it? Did they just say it's the head? Hey, look, man. We're, we're going to take the season. Look, I, I don't know what the Buffalo Bills are, are thinking, but Nathan Peterman showed oh, no. you who he was. Last, last year. year. He threw five, yeah. in the he five, threw five the picks in a half. Starters. He showed you who he was. Well, the experts, <laughs> the experts thinking is you don't want to put – Allen in there right Josh now, Allen. yeah, 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 because it yeah. might, with as bad as our I mean, team is, he, it might just 
shell shock him right. for his whole career. Right. Hey, man. Well, 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 I mean, it is. You're a grown ass man. You need, you need right. to be. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> you need to be. 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 You yeah. You take that snaps. Absolutely. But but it didn't it I mean, didn't it didn't seem to to hurt um you know Sam Darnold. Darnold a whole lot last night, even though, you know, first pass attempt through a pick six. But did did you see uh, It didn't hurt Troy Aikman. No, it didn't hurt Troy either. Troy went on to all the fame. They, they put Troy in there and they yeah. went didn't uh, hurt one and fifteen. Didn't hurt him. <laughs> you know, yeah, didn't hurt him. Didn't hurt Payne Manning three no. and thirteen. Oh, 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 13 no. and no. I don't think people understand just how putrid Peyton Manning was his rookie season. Yeah. I don't think people get it. Put he it was bad. Way. He still got reps, though. It's reps. It's yeah, just yeah. Reps right. To get right. better. Absolutely. That's what right. it is. You can't, yeah. you can't get reps doing it on the sidelines and playing clipboard. Right. Absolutely. No, he needs to get in there. Mental, mental oh, reps is what it is. Reps. Absolutely. He needs to get mental yeah. reps to be ready for the field. Come on, man. Yeah. Mental reps. Mental reps. Man. Just picture yourself behind the center and just go from there. Absolutely. Right. Man. That always works out. Yeah. That works yeah. out always. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Look, man, we. we, no, we I mean, yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thought. Go ahead. This, this, this whole lot, I mean, it's part of my whole thing on NFL is that it doesn't matter how you start, it's all about how you finish. Sure. It's all about luck and all about being injury free going to the playoffs. Yep. These first couple of weeks don't mean anything. They really, truly don't. The grand scheme of things. Sure. They don't mean anything. It's, it's a real long season. It's all about man. how you're doing it. Yeah. It's all about how, you, how you're play, playing in November, yep. December, and then. Go from yep, there. Absolutely. That's all it is. I mean, September, October, it's more for the fans, the, the media to talk about ESPN to get people to watch NFL Live. Yep. But the real football starts after the bye week, after, after the season starts getting cold. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. Yeah, we, now, we, we, now, we know yeah, the, yeah, we know the season doesn't really start until that first set of bye weeks. That that's yeah. when the season yeah. really gets going, man. We all Halloween, know until after Halloween weekend. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, that's, man. The, that's all that is. Yeah. All, all, all this is is just just media talk, ESPN Live. Yeah. It's pretty fantasy team, the ball score. No question. Real season kicks off after Halloween weekend. No question. I know that. No question. Hey, Chris, man, we appreciate your phone call, man. Definitely stay in tune with us, bro. Absolutely, man. No doubt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, he took us. That's Chris Rhodes, man. He took us right right into exactly what we're going to be talking about. Absolutely. The horrible play of these. It was bad. Big money quarterback. It was bad. It Look, wasn't even necessarily the the, yeah, the big money guys. It was just starters. quarter. Yeah. It was just the starters. Just yeah. quarterback play overall was putrid in week one. Yeah, it was bad. Like like I I didn't I can't honestly say I expected that from Matt Stafford. What I, what we saw last night from Matt Stafford. Was he didn't look happy? He man. did like he didn't yeah, even look like he didn't even at, look in tune. Yeah, he didn't like, look in tune it at all. But but I got a question though. Could that be? Matt Patricia, could, could that be, be his new head coach? Could be. Could that be his new head coach? And, Already. And, but look, let me let me let me throw this nugget at you though. He he may be bringing in a, a certain mentality, the New England Patriot way, into a situation that isn't quite ready for the New England yeah, Patriot it's, way. Right. Yeah, it's, they're they're in a losing you, mentality. Like right they 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 still have the same losers from from then. Well, my thing is this. With Matthew, the exception of, of, of LeGarrette Blunt, yeah. Matthew Stafford, sh- sh- I honestly thought that he should have played, and they said, they talked about this, should have played more in the actual preseason. Mm. Like, what, what have you done, Matthew Stafford, hmm. to warrant not playing a lot of games in preseason? He's their franchise quarterback. Means they gave him a lot of money. Absolutely nothing. He was the he to was the us. Fir- he was the first one to get all that to money. To us though, and we wondered. Well, the, look what it means to, to his team us. right now. Look, to but, but, us. but 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 look though. When remember when that whole thing happened, and I spoke out. I said, "Why is Matt Stafford getting all of this money?" You know Chips. what the what the what the consensus was. He's the franchise quarterback. He deserves all of that money. I said, well, what he exactly a did he lot do? lot of chips, too. I mean, if, 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 if we go out and attempt 50 passes a game, a game, I mean, I ought to be coming up with 300 passing yards. At least. I ought to be coming up with at least a 4,500-yard season if at I'm least. attempting 50 passes a game. Because nine times out of ten, I'm playing from behind anyway. 
my my team absolutely stinks. I got good. I got a good wide receiver core though. I got a great wide out core. L- look now, now when I look back, and, and and I said, you know, originally that the Raiders might have had the best receiving core on paper. When I looked at it, take a look at Detroit, man. Take a look at Detroit's receiving yeah. core, bro. Yeah. Through, th- take a look through at his them. career, he's had some good receivers. Take a look at Golden Tate and, and, you know, and Marvin Jones. Take a and, look at his yeah. offensive but line. But I'm just well, we can say stinks, through his bro. career, it's tragic. Through yeah. his career, yeah, no doubt, he's had phenomenal he, wide he's receivers. Had great wide receivers, no question. You know, no question. And that's why his numbers are so good. Mm-hmm. What's his excuse, though? You know, what's the excuse for 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 Matt Stafford? What's the excuse? I can't say. I, know I can't give one. him one. I can't give him one. Offensive line play, I mean, okay, if that's the case, Barry Sanders could have had that excuse too. They offense, his offensive line went that good. He played through it, though. You pull a Dre <laughs> and that Tommy Lasorda, <laughs> and you 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 yank your player and put somebody they else got in. got Matt Castle over there, bro. So you put Matt Castle in? No, Jay. Why is Matt Castle still in the that. league? That you irks me, dog. You can't do that, man. Let me tell you something. I Matthew watched Stafford is better than that dude. I watched that game, and when Matt that Castle, ain't saying a lot either. I know, but when Matt Castle <laughs> went in, you actually had Detroit Lion fans cheering like, "Good God, take him, take Stafford <laughs> that, that was out." Ba- that was yeah. bad. Yeah, that was bad. That that's probably the worst in they recent memory. Booed him. I've never seen them boo yeah, Matt no, Stafford no. the way they. That's booed the worst him. in recent memory. I can I can ever remember him looking. In recent memory, that's the worst I can remember him looking, man. Matt Stafford looked bad. Yeah. Like, if, he looked putrid. If like, I was Landry Jones, I would have been like, send me to see, Detroit. See, see there? See there? <laughs> <laughs> send me to look, Detroit. I ain't that bad. Look. Look. Look him over there. Look. <laughs> I can, You can point to yeah. Nathan Peterman and say, look, look, look him. Yeah. Look him right there. I ain't that bad. Look him. Yeah. Speaking of terrible quarterbacks, uh, since we're on a rant of terrible quarterbacks in the first week, Ben Roethlisberger. Mm. Oh. Mm. Was that all his fault, though? <sighs> it, it, it's for, now, I, yes. I, I understand. <laughs> I, I understand. Absolutely, yes. No, I understand what you mean when you're saying how he looked exactly. I'm talking about team outcome. Mm. Was that all his fault, though? No. I mean, we, we've we been screaming for the longest that the defense, that, that defense played is great. But but we've been, we've been screaming for the longest that they aren't that great either. Yeah. As, it, it, just as a whole. Watching that game. The defense did what they were supposed to. Mm-hmm. Ben Roethlisberger turned that ball over yeah, four time picks, man. Four and picks. time again. Four picks. In crucial moments, too. Yep. These are these are double-digit veteran, year yeah. veteran yeah. quarterbacks yeah. we're yeah. talking about. Yeah, Matt Stafford, 10 years in the league. Ben and, Roethlisberger, uh, 13 years in the league. Yeah, and uh, like, that's crazy. You know, they're playing, they're <laughs> playing like – They're playing Nathan Peterman level. Come on. Literally. <laughs> I mean, Tyrod Taylor. Get, Tyron yeah. Taylor goes fifteen for forty. He did Dog, that was bad. It was bad. 40. It was bad. Yeah, he. Looked, that was bad. Yeah, he looked Look at wrong. Jimmy G. Jimmy G didn't play well. He didn't play well. He either. did not play well. You want to talk about Dak. another person who got a neither lot of Dak. money? Yeah, he got a lot of yeah. bread. Did not play well. Yeah. Still had a chance to win the football game. Still yeah. didn't play you well, want to look at Drew Brees and them getting blew out? No. Yeah. Almost. It wasn't they had even to come close. Back. They had to come back. They had to come back. If you look at it, if you look at it in hindsight, the game wasn't as close as the score showed. Yeah. 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 But so I understand what you're saying. Tragic. They, even though they only end up winning by a possession. I mean, you Dak let, you let Ryan Fitzpatrick beat you, yeah. though. Who's a farting to win. Yeah. He'll, he'll, Hold on. Yeah. But when we were making our picks, I said, mm-hmm. but they do got Ryan Fitzpatrick. He plays, he plays pretty good. He'll give you that twice. He's, uh, well, he gave it to you J- once. J- Jameis James Winston will be back under center come week six because they because they he got his four game suspension. They got the bye week week five. They're back week six. Yeah, he'll be back under center. Promise. Pull up uh pull up our games uh that we actually uh that were played last week, and we're gonna give the viewers and the listeners um basically um our record. Mm-hmm. On what we did and what teams we picked, um, it was a crazy first week of football. It was, it was, it was a very busy first week of football at the uh, sports book here in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Yeah. Uh, I was uh, personally over at Bally's, and it was popping in the in the sports yes, book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that number forty five said viewership is down. Mm, I can't right. tell. I, I couldn't, couldn't tell, tell in the either. casino. I couldn't mm. tell. I couldn't tell. Hey, it's football season. People yeah. gonna watch. Yeah. Well, we, I'm looking at week one. <clears throat> uh, we we all whiffed on the uh, Pittsburgh at Cleveland game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Cincinnati at the I, Colts. I picked Cincinnati. I picked the Colts to win that game. Did you pick the Colts to win that game, Bill? Uh, I don't remember. I think so. Tennessee at Miami. I picked Tennessee to win I that game. I picked Tennessee to win that game as well. That's tragic. Yeah. Uh, Frisco at Minnesota. I, I picked Minnesota. I, I picked I picked Minnesota as well. Uh, Houston at New England. I picked Houston. I picked New England. Yeah, yeah I picked at New home. England. Uh, Tampa at New Orleans. I picked New Orleans. And I picked I Tampa. Picked New Orleans. Mm. Jacksonville. No, I didn't. I picked New Orleans. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jacksonville uh, at New York. I picked New York. I picked Jacksonville to win that uh, game. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo at Baltimore. I don't think anybody picked Buffalo at all. Um, Kansas City at. Uh, Chargers. I think I picked the Chargers I for picked that the one. Chargers too. I you picked, picked KC. I picked you picked Young Mahomes. Yes, yes you did. did. Yes, yes you, you did. did. He actually played okay. Yeah. When we talking about quarterback play, Mahomes actually he played did play okay. good. Uh, Seattle at Denver. I want to say I, I went with Denver. 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 Uh, let's see. Washington at Arizona. I think we all picked Washington for that. I think I picked Arizona. Well, but no, we have to go back and no, see that no, one. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember that one. Yeah. Uh, Dallas at Carolina. I pick Carolina I for went sure. With Carolina, you know who I picked. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chicago at Green Bay. I think I went with Green Bay. I there. went with Green Bay at home. Mm-hmm. I think you uh, went with Chicago. I think I did. Yeah. Uh, Jets at Detroit. I, I want to say I went with the home team, Detroit, and got thoroughly oh, embarrassed. I got. I went with bad. Detroit and got bad. thoroughly embarrassed too. And I, uh, L.A. at Oakland. You went with Oakland. Oakland. I, I know I went with the Rams. I said that Oakland wouldn't score. They they scored 13 points, but it's just like they They really played score. a great football half. Yes, they did. That first half. Excellent 30 minutes. The, the I mean, yeah. wow. Yeah. I was like, oh, snaps. Mm-hmm. They got oh, something. They had here. something mm-hmm. to prove. Mm-hmm. They had something to prove. Mm-hmm. Without but, Mac. Yeah, but then Derek Carr reality set in. turned into David Carr. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and reality set and, in. Yeah, reality set all the way yeah. in. Wow. It really did. Were they missing Khalil Mack, though? A presence <sighs> on defense? No. And and, and, if, and if you really want to, if you, if, anybody, if you watch that game, it seemed as though they were on a high simply because it was, it's a new regime. You know, you got you got a brand new coach in there. You you're trying to impress all the talk, all the talk. About the you know, young Chucky yeah. coming in there. But then you see how those defensive backs are really, really playing football, and you see why teams can go up and down the field on them. Those defensive backs have zero discipline. Even even with Khalil Mack, even with Khalil Mack, I this can't is what, say this is what that it was because Khalil Mack is a beast. I think they missed him. Not they, saying that the outcome they, would have been different, but why wouldn't you want? I think they missed him too, but you know, once they start rolling over, chipping him and stuff like that, then you got what you have. Too yeah. too much. Now it's on Bruce. Now it's on Bruce Irvin. Yeah. Too much talk, girly. And Bruce, yeah. and Bruce Irvin is not consistent enough pass rusher. No, no. Like a Khalil and Black. and he actually gives up on plays if you watch exactly if you watch Bruce Irvin. His initial pass rush. Now I, there have been times where where you you saw him, you know, you saw his motor going. But if you watch him consistently enough, you'll see that Bruce Irvin gives up on a lot of pass rush. If if, if he doesn't get there with his initial move, he'll stand straight up. Just watch, just watch him. He'll stand straight up, and he'll lightweight give up, and then he'll try to he'll try to motor his way back in. Well, by then it's too late, sir. Play's gone. Well, Raider fans had a half to feel like they were going to be relevant this season. Now you can go back and uh, sink into your hole uh, and uh, expect the inevitable. Man, five and eleven. I'm giving the Raiders, man. Five yeah. and eleven. Damn. Tragic. Yeah, man. I got a Capital Grill meal riding on this one, mm. and y'all know I love some steak, G. I'm on my Capital Grill, G. So Thursday's night game. <laughs> Let's pick this Thursday night game. Yes, indeed, man. 
Who let's you see got? who we got matched up this uh, week. Uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Let's get to it. Let's the Ravens? Is, Is it the, the Ravens, Ravens this week? Hold the on. Ravens hold and... On. Uh, hold on, hold on. The Browns? Let's get to it. Oh, no. Let's get to Just it. Just messing with you, man. <laughs> Browns didn't lose. No, Baltimore and Cincinnati. Baltimore and Cincinnati. This matchup always I'm stinks, going with Cincinnati. I hate this matchup. I hate it, bro. The Every AFC time, North. Dog. The AFC North. I hate that matchup, dog. I'm going. That is not exciting football, bro. It's just not. I think it will be this year. I think, you think it's so? a good game. I don't know, bro. That's and not I'm gonna go with Baltimore. Football. You can go uh, Baltimore, go with Baltimore away. Mm. The the away team. Mm. I'm gonna go with the home team. Yeah, give me yeah, give me the home squad, man. Give, give me give me the give me the Cincinnati Bengals, man. I'm, I mean, what I like that. I like can that they Baltimore do? School. Can they do any worse than not? Winning a playoff game in 15 years? Can you he do any talk, worse than that? You want to talk about a quarterback yeah, that nah. was given a lot of money, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton got, got some got some chips. Hmm. Andy Dalton got some chips. He did. Hmm. He did. So did Joe Flacco. Flacco. <laughs> Lots of money. Flacco got it because of that championship he uh you know, that was, that was Flacco play. might be playing with a little chip on his shoulder but because I, I, of the draft of, I think of the quarterback. Yeah, he is, but I think we have to understand, too, you know, exactly why Joe Flacco got that money. Winning the Super it Bowl. wasn't necessarily because of his performance. Winning the Super Bowl. He won, he won a Super Bowl, sure. But we have to take into consideration who he was throwing the football to. Anquan Bolton was a man yeah, he was. in those playoffs. Yeah, I, I, I really, like, I, I bring people back to this, and, and people seem to forget exactly what Anquan Bolton did in those playoffs. But let me remind, let me remind you, Anquan Bolton went for close to 900 receiving yards yeah, he did. in those playoffs. Bro, we got dudes don't do that in 16 games. Yeah, He did it in four. We have to understand what Anquan Bolton did. And the the amazing catches that he made during those playoffs. Mm-hmm. Got to understand that. Yeah, have to. That he got he got his money. No question. And was he throwing him open, or was he? I think An- Anquan Bolden went and got a whole lot of those footballs, okay. bro. Okay. Okay. He, he went and got a whole lot of them balls, man. Okay. He did. Okay. He did. He did. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Raider fans, um, good luck. Good luck, man. I'm going with Cincinnati in that, and you going with Cincy. You going Cincinnati. with Boston, Baltimore. Baltimore. Going with Cincy. Baltimore. Sunday I'm, games. I'm looking. Let's at give some, you guys these picks, man. Yeah, I'm looking at some good matchups. You want to give them today, or you want to yeah, wait we'll till Saturday. Saturday? We'll do a Saturday. You want to wait? Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll dish them out, and then we'll give okay. our picks on yeah. on uh, we'll do, uh, we'll uh, old, old division matchup: Carolina at Atlanta. That should be a good one. Yeah. The, the division matchups are always good. Um, you got the Chargers traveling all the way to Buffalo. Yeah. Now we're looking at the Buffalo Bills as a weak squad, but just remember, traveling from west to east, yeah, gets difficult. Just putting that in year. Mm. We, we're not making picks right now, but I'm just putting that in year. Do they got OJ? No, OJ. Okay. Ain't soon it, up. it looks like OJ may not soon be. Up, <laughs> <laughs> Unless they can get him by Saturday. <laughs> right. Yeah, OJ ain't soon up, G. Yeah, Thurman Thomas ain't walking through that door, G. Thurman ain't Thomas happening. was a man. Oh, no question. Young, young mm. fumbleitis. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, people forget. Minnesota at Green Bay, another division matchup. That should be a good one at Lambeau. Uh, Houston at Tennessee, another good division matchup. Should be a good one. Cleveland at New Orleans. That's yeah. gonna be that's a, ugh, it's a weird matchup. Yeah, there, that is man. a weird it's matchup. A weird matchup. Uh, let's see, Miami at the Jets. That's gonna be division a weird... matchup. What's the division matchup? So it, it should be a hard fought uh, game up there. In, well, the uh, way that the Jets up put up Rutherford. all in points makes man. you think that they Ryan, wanted the Super Bowl. Look, this Ryan Tannehill, <laughs> man. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill looked like he knew how to play quarterback this past week. Yeah, he like he was Jets, making throws in the pocket, like throwing people. Like, what is going on with Ryan that, Tannehill? That Jets defense, they got some ball hawks, bro. Yes, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, they, yeah, got they ball do. Hawks. They got good, really, yeah. really good football players on that defense. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really do. do. And they play very, very well together. So we, we should see how, how that goes. Uh, Kansas City at Pittsburgh. Oh, that should be a good one. Mm. That should be a good one. That's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, Philly goes to Tampa. Uh, That's going to be a good one. Good one. We'll we'll see if uh, Alshon Jeffrey uh, can come back from the shoulder injury. They may have him out another week, I think, though. 
uh, Colts at Washington. Oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. Washington looked good on the road at uh, they did at 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 the Cardinals here. Who last was the quarterback? Who? What? <laughs> Washington. Washington. <laughs> My good buddy. Yeah. My good friend. They Alex look Smith. good. Alex buddy Smith. old pal. Buddy old pal. <laughs> did, but hold on. Did I tell? What did I tell y'all? He was gonna throw for pa- passing yards wise. Didn't I tell y'all he was gonna throw for like two oh five? Yeah. How many did he double. throw for? Like like two ten. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all, man. I told y'all what he was gonna do. He's consistent. Think and dunk. It, the old it, man. It, it means, and dunk. It sounds like he's the consistent. Old, the old dunk, man kind of played good. Look, though. let me tell you guys something. Adrian. L- LTBB yes, crew. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, Goose. Goose. Yeah. He's not really a big fan of Alex Smith. No, I like Alex Smith. No, not a big. Fan. He's consistent. Not a fan. Gotta understand. Great, I had, great, I had great for ball years. manager. I, great I don't, I, manager look, at the look, quarterback he, position. He, 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 Ain't that what you're supposed to do at the quarterback here's position? A little, yeah. Here's a little comparison yeah. I can give you. You know how you feel about Landry Jones? Ugh. I don't feel quite that way about Alex Smith, Ugh. but I'm damn close. Ugh. I don't feel quite that way. That's tragic, though. Because Alex Smith actually did something. Did something. Mm. But he's just not a great quarterback to me. He's not worth $90 million. Well, uh, Ma- Matthew Stafford isn't worth more than what he Alex Smith. He got more than Alex Smith. He ain't worth that either. Did he get more guaranteed dollars than Alex Smith? I'm got? pretty sure he did. I'd have to look at that. Let's pull that up. Oh, interesting. Let, let's let's look at these last couple games here. Uh, Arizona at uh, at the Rams. Another yeah. division matchup. <laughs> Quan says it's gonna be a blowout. Eh, it just might. We'll see though. Uh, Detroit Lions coming to uh, coming to Santa Clara. Oh. Play them uh, 49ers. I, man. Hey, man. Oakland Ooh. at Denver. Division matchup early. Mm-hmm. Yep, early. New England at Jacksonville. That should be Ooh, a real... That's going to be a good game. Oh, no, game. no. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. New England at Jacksonville. That should be that's a good matchup. That's going to be a good game, man. Ooh, that should be a good one. And uh, the... the, the <laughs> The 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 prime time matchup. The, I mean, these dudes always seem to find themselves in prime time. Right? Dog. Why? What the heck is going on, bro? They just not gonna play no one one, one o'clock Sunday ticket game. No, like, like not no. one. No, not one. They're always gonna be in line for the national TV game. Wow, New York at Dallas, man. Oh, they, <laughs> these dudes gonna always be in line for that national TV game, bro. Every time. They won't even play a NFL Network Thursday night game. Nope. Got to have them on NBC. Got to have them on Monday night. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that, that just the way it is? That, 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 that performance I've seen Sunday, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Dak yeah. didn't play yeah. like. Dak is regressing yeah. fast. Regressing yeah. fast. Yeah, that was, well, that what was, did Ezekiel do? Ezekiel do. That was putrid. Uh well, when you stack in the box, yeah, it's a and tough. you have no threats on the outside or in the slot, dang near no well, tight end. Well, maybe they need to, to go back after the uh, Des Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't go down that road no more. That road is is is, hmm. is under construction now. <laughs> Tragic. Maybe they can use an Andrew Bynum. T he no. <laughs> Alex Smith got seventy one guaranteed, brother. Alex Smith got 71 guaranteed. 71 million guaranteed. Let's see. Wow. Sounds Matt, like sounds Matt, like somebody paid for it. Some Matthew consistency. Stafford. <laughs> he's averaging 27 million over the contract. Let's see the Tragic, the, man. Let's see what the guaranteed dollars are. Tragic, are. man. Oh, hold on. 71 guaranteed. For Alex Smith. That's a lot of bread, bro. That's a lot of bread for a game. Man. He got 40 of that on his signing bonus. So you mean to tell me that you can you can pay Alex Smith that amount of money guaranteed, but you can't pay a Le'Veon Bell? You yeah. can't pay a Le'Veon Bell a little bit more guaranteed? Just $10 million more guaranteed. Mm. And it looks like we may lose Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, looks Look like, like you don't need him. Yeah. That might happen. Well, wow. young young James Conner played. It's only been one game. I mean, <laughs> say don't say don't stuff all the eggs in the basket. It's only right been now, one man. game. Don't stuff all my young eggs James in the basket. I'm pretty sure that the opposing team didn't have much tape on uh young what James, James Conner was going to do in that game. He got played tape very now. well. They played. got tape now. Yeah, 
They got tape now. So we'll see, man. Uh, you know, uh, 90, $92 million guaranteed. $92 million guaranteed. He got 50. He got 50 at he the got signing, 50 bonus. signing bonus. Tragic. Bill's getting paid like a mug. Oh, Gorilla shit. Cross Radio, man. Sa- LTBB Sa- crew. Oh, Your man. guy, Dre Bailey. Thank you, man. Goose Thomas. Bill He's Logan shippers, in the building, man. man. This is what we do. We give you guys wow. the best of sports talk radio every single Tuesday at 6 p.m., wow. every single Saturday at 2 p.m., man. We wow. love you guys, man. That's yes, what we, we do. do. Yeah. No question. I want to get a yeah. guarantee. Let me th- let me tell you something funny before we end the show. Yeah. Let me tell you something funny. I, I, I park in the... In the in the structure across the way, yeah. and I'm trying to figure my way out of that structure. So I take the stairs, and I'm Yo, going man, down the bad. stairs, <laughs> and I'm and and as I'm going down the stairs, I'm trying to find the door to go out of, and it says, you know, lower level, go through this door. The whole time, I thought I was walking into like Quad Studios, and I was about <laughs> to get shot. <laughs> I'm talking about, I was super nervous. Man. I'm like, wait a minute. This is set up. <laughs> I'm on my way to the studio. Listen, though. No. I'm on my way to the studio. I'm in a stairwell. Yeah. It's kind of fishy. Oh, God. Can't trust them stairwells, brother. You cannot Man, trust look, the stairwells. Don't no. trust Especially downtown. the stairwells. <laughs> Especially downtown. Oh, yeah, downtown stairwells. So I'm are telling horrible. you. That's what I'm saying, man. It's not good. I'm look. telling you. I don't even trust the ones on the strip, let alone downtown. I may have to exercise my Las Vegas right and uh, open carry while I'm coming to the studio. <laughs> Smart. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. And it's crazy because as a black man in 2018 in Las Vegas, uh, we can open carry a firearm, but you still get a little bit afraid, afraid because you are black still. Yep. And even though it's an open carry state, what does that actually mean? You still it means G. nothing because <laughs> police don't want a civilian shooting nobody. You still black, G. We got a we got a phone call, man. Oh, what's good? You're live on with Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio. What's good with you? State your name, where you from, please. Hey, what's up, Goose Cuz? Big Les, man. Big Compton. Les, what's up, Cuz? What up? <laughs> what's good with Not you, Jay? much, man. What's cracking with y'all, man? man. What's good? What's up, man, what's up with the Les, man? man? What's up with the kid? What's up, brother William? What's good, man? What's going on, brother? Yeah, man. Not much, man. I was just uh, calling in, man. We Y'all was on the football tip, and uh, yeah. I just want to... Voice my frustration with our right tackle, man. I'm Uh-oh. pissed off at this dude, Uh-oh. man. Uh oh. Now, 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 now. Eric now, Flowers, uh, Eric Flowers can't block my mama. My mama's 77 <laughs> years old. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Now, 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 do you move Nate Soldier over to the right side? Do you switch him? You move somebody. You move somebody over there because this you, dude, man. Because you brought you brought Nate you chance. brought you brought Nate in to 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 protect Eli's blind side, but it looked like his front side, like literally his front side, getting knocked out. Literally, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. We just, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm, I'm at a loss of words, man. I'm, I'm calling y'all to see what we, actually, y'all, what we should do. <laughs> you know, so I, I look, I uh, look, you, 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 you had it. Look, man. it was, a, it was a five point loss. I, I say, don't be frustrated. It was a five point loss to perhaps the best total defense in in this league. I mean, we we've seen, you know what what the Rams have been able to do, you know, with, with their, you know, off season, but the, we, we've seen Jacksonville's defense already. So don't, don't be all the way upset. Give, 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 give yourself some time. I mean, uh, OBJ had a great day. I mean, he, yeah, he he, did. He lock, he lock, um, I he, think uh, yeah. I think Eli missed him on a couple of plays. Yes, though. yes, he did. Uh, yes, he o- did. Overthrew him on a couple of plays where he right. had the defender behind him. Right. One was for a touchdown for sure that he yes. overthrew him, and probably we could have probably won the game. Right. You know, but right. That's neither here nor there. Right. You know? Well, so, well, Les, I know. Uh, last time we talked, I know you were still trying to get that shirt uh, uh, made. 
of that famous quote yeah. that you said last year. I'm, I think you need to get another shirt that says. But you, you, uh, you already beat me to it. You and I, you already beat me to it. So I got to come up with some other, some other kind of quote now, man. <laughs> well, look, I, I think you need to get a, a a shirt with a quote that says Eli Manning is actually overrated at this point. <laughs> And it needs to say all of that. <laughs> well, that was the other reason. That was the other reason why I called because since you were getting on quarterbacks, you start talking about Big Ben and yeah. Peterman and other guys. I was calling about that. Um, you no, know, you know me. I'm an Eli guy, whatever. Yeah. But like I said, I call a spade a spade, homie. Yeah. And he missed a couple of throws last week when it wasn't no pressure, you mm-hmm. know. But I think he just got the jitters because he just don't trust that side of the line. And he, mm. like I said, he overshot OBJ mm. on okay. one touchdown pass that surely yeah. should have been a touchdown pass coming I'm, from a, but I don't think from a 14, mean, 15 year veteran. Right. I don't think you move Nate Solder from his blind though. Yeah. Don't move Nate. No, well, I'm, gla- from I'm, his blind yeah. Side. I'm yeah. glad you cleaned you that up a in. little bit because you said that, uh, uh, a fifteen year old, a 15 year veteran getting jitters. Yeah. That's a little tough. Shook me a little bit. That's a little tough. A little bit yeah, tough right there. Exactly. You know, Eli Manning. So should, that's, that's, that's my issue with Eli, and I, like mm. you said, I'm a Giants fan to the death. Yeah, but like I said, I call a spade a spade. True. You know, I kind of wish you know we'd went with um, Lamar Jackson, but you know, I mm. like Saquon. You know, he showed his worth uh, Sunday. Sure you know, did. had a good game, no sure debut did. against that um, D. Yeah. I'm happy with I'm happy with the pick, and um, but I just like I said, just was frustrated. I didn't get to watch too much of the game because I was kind of asleep, and when I yeah. woke up. In the fourth quarter, you know, we were down five, and I watched from that point. It was about six minutes left in the game or whatever. Yeah. And I watched from that point, so I really didn't see the total game until later. Um, but uh, since you were on the topic of quarterbacks, Dre, I said I had to call in and kind of voice my frustration with mines a little bit because yes, I just thought he missed a couple missed a couple of throws that a 15-year veteran should be Dude, making. Just shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't miss. Absolutely, man. I got frustration with mine because he wasn't making no throws at all. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, Dex, Dex, a young guy though, so I'm, I'm giving him a pass. He's a young guy. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Still learning. You know, he he can't throw the beat ball too good, but he a young guy though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, William. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, Les, man, we appreciate your phone call, man. That was great. Yeah. Great insight, man, from our guy, man. Let's pick it, bro. Big yeah, time, buddy. Big time, big time. Giants yes, fan, right there, and he he has a valid gripe. Yeah. He got a valid gripe. Yeah. Valid gripe. Giants fans, yeah, man, I think it's gonna be another uh, bipolar uh, season for you. All of us, all of us Jeez. who had quarterbacks with terrible play has a gripe. Yeah, tragic, tragic. Everybody at this table, <laughs> Gorilla Cross Gorilla Radio, Gorilla. man, LTBB crew <laughs> in the building. Your guy Dre Bailey, you, man, Goose Thomas, and Bill Logan in the yes, building, sir. man. We yes. have um, uh, come to the end of the show. Yes, we have, man. We have fun, man. Another have a great Tuesday, We love man. this. This is what we do, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. We appreciate everybody showing us support. Yeah. We appreciate everybody uh, sticking with us. Yeah. Uh, and we appreciate you, uh, uh, Quan Fa Nah, in yes, the sir. building, man. Gorilla Cross. All day. Gorilla Cross All Radio, day. man. Yeah, Download yeah, yeah. that Gorilla Cross All app day. on your phone, man, and follow your guys. Uh, unnamed Sports, LTBB crew yes, in sir. the building, man. We're giving you guys the best of sports talk radio. Yes, and guess are, what, man? man? We're turning Gorilla Cross into a network mm. so we can get that network. Net worth. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Hey, guess what? And if you're scared, you better go to church. Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio.